Thanks for hanging with us today, Shannon. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, lost leg in the house, and I'm, I'm almost like I'm a little bit intimidated. You guys, oh have my gosh, <laughs> got quite the reputation out there with your James Beard Awards and all this yeah. stuff. But we have to go to the origin story, which would obviously be your first ever alcoholic beverage. Please take me through that story. Ooh, first legal or otherwise? The first ever. <laughs> oh, um, probably a 40. Yes. Um, I'm from New York City, so that's kind of how we do things. Um, oh, hell yeah. And, and a nice public park al fresco setting. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, it's been a journey for me personally. <laughs> yeah. Very classy. Cla- yes, <laughs> the absolutely. 40. Oh. It's a, you were surrounded by nature, probably being mm-hmm. one with the birds and the drinking of the 40. It sounds very, very upscale to me. Yeah, I, that's that's how I'd like to spin it too. One hundred percent. So tell me about how you went from drinking 40s in the park to uh, Lost Lake and that journey. Um, you know, I think like a lot of people in the industry, it's something I fell into kind of thinking it was a temporary situation. Um, A friend of mine that I went to school with um, said, we need a dishwasher at Lost Lake. Do you think you'd want to do that? I was moving to Chicago, um, uh, finishing school. And I was like, yeah, I I can do that for a couple of weeks. I figure it out. And uh, I have been really fortunate um, that I've been here. It's uh, been a little over six years and, I've continued to get promoted and um, supported um, with our upper management. And um, yeah, it's been kind of a whirlwind of a time. And I fell in love with cocktails and spirits and like really understanding like the global nature of them and their history and their significance. Um, So yeah, it's been kind of a wild ride and the world of rum is so big. so it's been really fun to keep dipping my my toes and my feet and into it. Um, so yeah, I've just been really lucky. That's amazing <laughs> to go from dishwasher to bar manager in six years at the same establishment too. That's like unheard of. Thank you. Yeah, no, um, it's, yeah, it's been a time. And I mean, I think it speaks a lot to the culture here that um, I've been given those opportunities. Um, and you know, many (laughs) chances have been taken on me. Um, so yeah, and I've really relished getting to work every position and really understand how the machine works. Um, yeah, so I, I'm, I feel very fortunate. Yeah. And you mentioned, um, you know, getting to know cocktails and the history of cocktails and their place in the world. And, um, I know that I, I used to be a bartender and it's, it was always hard to balance sort of that knowledge of this is how a cocktail should be Mm -hmm. to a customer being like, okay, but I don't like how that tastes. (laughs) So how do you balance, um, (laughs) sort of the, I guess the common want versus that, like having that knowledge of like, this is my craft. For sure. Um, you know, I think with tropical drinks, lots of people are under the impression that they're really sweet and they're this and like they have a lot of preconceived notions which I don't necessarily think is wrong um I think a lot of people not to knock other great tropical bars but they've been burned before um so trying to establish that trust right from the beginning is I think really instrumental and like sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't um but I think, you know, I'm, oh, I always try to lead with, you know, I think our drinks are very well balanced, which I do. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but, you know, if it's something you really dislike, then we will figure something else out. But I think this is a good jumping off point. Um, and, you know, I think, yeah, the big one we get is, oh, I don't like anything too sweet. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> yeah. I think, finding the language to describe what people are getting is really important. Mm. And, um, 
certainly takes some practice. And I think there's like some mental preparedness and what you're going into. Um, so trying to be upfront with what you're describing and how you're describing it is really important. Yeah, absolutely. And um, can you tell me a bit about sort of, I, I suppose, the customer culture at Lost Lake? Um, what what the, I guess, typical crowd would be and what you can expect when you're going in. It looks like a party behind you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, we are especially decorated for the holidays right now. Um, we're running our holiday pop-up called Jingle Bell Square. Nice. Um, so we're, we're extra right now. Extra, extra. Extra, extra. Um, <laughs> uh, with customers, you know, and what I love about Lost Lake is it is really a neighborhood bar. Um, so we have our regulars and, um, a really interesting crew of people, I would say, um, <laughs> cast of characters. Sure. Um, so, you know, we, we do get a lot of people who like love, um, tea, like traditional tiki or tropical drinks. Um, we have a lot of, you know, people around the neighborhood who are stopping in while their laundry is you know they're, they're switching out their laundry across the street or they're getting off the train from work um and then on the other hand you know we are definitely a destination spot which is mm -hmm. cool too um we have people you know getting off the blue line and coming in or going to o'hare and um so we really kind of have a, a an interesting cross section um and it runs the gamut which always keeps it interesting and exciting for us um, as bartenders. Um, so yeah, uh, that I would say is kind of our customer climate, which feels like a non-answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was great. Um, do you have a, uh, maybe a specific story that you can tell us? Maybe it's a customer was crazy and this crazy thing happened, or this was a very touching sentimental moment that happened with this customer, or I learned something about a, a world that I didn't know about from talking to this customer, anything that stands out in your mind? Um, you know, it's funny. I like, I really love our regulars. So like <laughs> they always hold this, this place in my heart for sure. Um, but you know, it's crazy you run into people locally and otherwise. Um, I grew up in New York City, so I go home to visit. And if I end up at a bar, it's happened more than once I've served my bartender before, <laughs> um, yes. which is always fun. And, um, you know, it just like shows what a community loss like creates, but also, you know, just bartending and service in general, um, that we all kind of continue to find each other. Um, yeah. and we get to, you know, um, reciprocate and be kind and learn from each other too. Sure, absolutely. Um, so tell me about all of these bottled cocktails you guys have. Yeah. Especially because if anyone is going to do bottled cocktails correctly, which is not an easy feat, it's <laughs> going to be Lost Lake. <laughs> yeah, um, it's been such an interesting experience because um, we are still doing it um, and starting, you know, during lockdown and we're continuing on. We've all learned a lot. Um, but they're great. And it's been such a nice part to like extend ourselves in that way, um, just for people to enjoy in the pleasure of their own home. But also um, it's been really nice, um, especially getting to meet people where they're at and their comfortability about going out while we are still dealing with COVID. Um, that has been really nice and to get to go into people's homes in that way is lovely. And people, you know, also have been on their way home for the holidays, picking up drinks to share with their families. Um, so it's a nice, it's an interesting um, departure from hospitality as we knew it before, but yeah, it's also an extension of our hospitality, which is really exciting. Yeah, absolutely. And you can tell that you guys, you took care to try to bring the bar into people's homes, like the aesthetic of those bottled cocktails like you can tell that that is a lost lake cocktail and like just a little bottle of oh man <laughs> I miss going to the bar oh it feels like we're here now <laughs> yeah, oh excellent yeah I think bringing the aesthetic is absolutely part of the experience 
Oh, totally. Um, so tell me what you guys have coming up for, I guess, the holiday season and um, 2022 at Lost Lake. Yeah. So um, for the holidays, you know, we have our um, subscription service through Table 22. So um, we do a rum one. So and there are different levels. Thank you so much. You too. Um, so people can do rum flights um, of different um, intensities, I suppose. Yeah. And we do the same thing with cocktails. Um, so that is something that, you know, we are hoping to bring in for the holidays for people and into the new year as well. Um, and we have our bottled cocktails, obviously. Um, and we have Jingle Bell Square going on. So um, trying to mesh, you know, your tropical vacation dreams with our Midwestern um, <laughs> weather backdrop. Um, yeah. So we've got lots of, obviously lots of rum. Um, we've got some allspice. We've got some spiced coconut to mix it up. Oh, um, so yeah, uh, you know, I find that holiday spice and tropical spice really are the Venn diagram is pretty tight and yeah. so we're exploring that a lot, which is exciting and uh, very tasty, I have to say. I, that's an interesting concept that makes a lot of sense that, yeah, like the sort of tiki spices and the like holiday season spices would be yeah. would have a lot of overlap there. That's like. But like put some pineapple in it and all of a sudden it's For tiki, sure. bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Clove and ginger. Oh. Um, you can't go wrong. My taste buds are tingling. I feel like that <laughs> I should probably go to a doctor about that, but instead I'm going to go to Lost Lake and drink some yeah. cocktails. You know, we, we aren't doctors. We play them on TV, but we're happy <laughs> to do what we can. I mean, aren't you basically pharmacists? Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, you know, we do, we try. <laughs> it's, it's bartending in a nutshell. Someone comes, <laughs> tells you way too much about their life and their problems. And then you're like, wow, have a drink about it. This one I worked really hard on and there's science yeah. in here. <laughs> <laughs> An elixir will solve it all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we're just old school wizards in a new exactly. world. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Um, and so what do you guys have uh, coming up for 2022? What can we look forward to at Lost Lake? Are the bottled cocktails going to stick around for the long haul? So we are hoping so. Um, there was a law passed or an extension of a law passed for bottled drinks for Chicago. Um, so we are going to keep that going as far as we can, which I believe is the spring of 2022. Nice. Um, so that's exciting. And in 2022, we'll have a brand new menu, which is exciting also. Ooh, yes. <laughs> um, I can't tell you too much. All right. Um, but we always have our classics, our Lost Lake, our Tic Tac Taxi, and our Bunny's Banana Daiquiri, which is the one with the dolphin. Yes. So uh, new stuff, but we're keeping our standbys, of course. Um, so yeah, and unfortunately, the tinsel will come down. Um, I know <laughs> not going anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and then we also have our, um, amazing kitchen, which will still be here. Um, and that is, that changes more seasonally than our drinks too. So there's always something new to come in and try. And, um, we have lots of, uh, new casks of rum that are individual to us. Um, so there's always something special to sip on. Yes. I, I love also, um, obviously the focus on like a tiki, of course there's going to be rum, but most bars would have a focus on whiskey. Mm -hmm. Um, how do you get those people that would normally go into a bar and say, I want an old fashioned, um, how do you get them interested in the, okay, but welcome to the rum world. It's little spoken of, but God is their depth to yeah, it. Absolutely. <laughs> Um, it's funny you bring up old fashions. That's my favorite way to pivot people is like, yeah. oh, I love bourbon too. But you know, have you tried this combination of rums, maybe a split, split based rum old fashioned? Um, I think that's always a good way to get people in the door. Yeah. Um, and, you know, with bourbon in particular, well, I guess with rum in particular, a lot of it is ex bourbon casks. And that's mm -hmm. always a great conversation point be like oh you know you really like this oak flavor 
that's so interesting. Like this rum is also in this ex, you know, form right. of bourbon casks. So it's not too much of a leap, especially I think if you use the right, um, the right language to sure. kind of ease people into the idea. Um, and you know, with rum, there's just such a great variety mm-hmm. that it's so. E- I find it easy to kind of find what what people love about whiskey. Um, the overlap with rum, I feel like, is not too great of a jump. Um, yeah, especially if you establish that trust. <laughs> um, oh yeah, yeah. There's a rum for everyone. <laughs> Absolutely, and rum, you know, there's so few rules. Um, oh. So it's, you know, none of them taste alike, <laughs> um, but you can find those similarities with almost any other spirit, I feel like. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, is there anything else you want to get out into the ether about Lost Lake? No, just we're so happy to be back open and um, we're feeling festive and we want to have everybody out to Jingle Bell Square. Yes. and. Um, sip on some seasonal drinks with us uh, before the new year. Yes. Like the tropics went to Christmas North Pole. Yes, exactly. (laughs) Yeah, You can tell that that is, um, I obviously specialize in marketing um, (laughs) because the tropics went to Christmas North Pole. It (laughs) makes any sense whatsoever. (laughs) Uh, No, I mean, it does to me. Chicago, (laughs) those the spot you know we we've got our waterfront and it's cold but we're we're mixing we're matching we're out (laughs) here we're drinking (laughs) and we certainly are drinking (laughs) thanks for hanging with us Shannon thank you so much for having me it's been a pleasure